This is a tutorial for the Wood Eden Super 3x3x8 three three by by Type 1. And if you saw my other video on the Type 2, they're basically the same thing. The ending might be just a bit different because this one moves separately with the circle, unlike Type 2, which moves with the circle. So I'm going to mix it up again. Okay, so now it's mixed, and like most of these types of puzzles, you want to get all the centers and the edge pieces in between. So I'm going to just make sure that they're all facing the same direction, like that, and then insert all of these types of pieces in between. So now you can move freely between. So I'm going to match up all of these centers, which shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so the centers should have been pre pretty easy. If not, you can refer to my other tutorials on these um, on these types of puzzles. And now you have to solve all these edge pieces. And to do this, you have to solve it like a 5x5x5 five by five by five when you're reducing those edge pieces. So you can solve like a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So looking at this right now, none of them have two pieces next to each other that are already solved. Which is usually easier to use. So I'm going to start anywhere now, and I see this one has a center edge piece of blue and orange. I need to find another one with a blue and orange that's not in the center, because there is none. Like this one, blue and orange. If I bring it down, it makes this checkered pattern, but it doesn't matter. That's usually better. So, I'm going to start here. One, The one with the center in front, and the other one in the back. So, since I'm moving to the left, I'm going to start with the left. I'm going to do L, two layers in, F inverted, L, F, U, 2L, U inverted, and L inverted, two layers in. So now I, I have this checkered pattern, and I just need the last blue and orange piece, which is over here. And in this case, if I bring this one down, It'll just create the checkered pattern again, and nothing will be solved. So I want to take this out, and put it back in flipped around. So like that. And now this blue and orange is on the right side, and if I bring it down, it'll match here. I'm going to take this out, put it back in, and this one will come up here, this one will come up here. So this one, I'm starting with a right. And it's going to be R, two layers and inverted. F, R inverted, F inverted, U inverted, 2R, U, R two layers in. And that solves this edge piece. Now there's three others, and none of them have two pieces solved again. So I'm going to start anywhere again. Green and purple, green and purple. Do that one first. And I need one more green and purple piece. And in this case, even if I put this one down in here to begin with, this one will come back out. So I'm, go I'm going to have to create the checkered pattern for this case. So make sure that it comes down and creates a checkered pattern here. And I'm going to start with the left. L, two layers in, F inverted, L, F, U, 2L, U inverted, and L, two layers in, inver uh, inverted. 
So that creates a checker pattern, and now I'm not going to worry about this for a while. Bring this over, and I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. So, this time I'm just going to start with the right. It doesn't really matter which. R inverted, two layers in. F, R inverted, F inverted, U inverted, 2R, U, R two layers in. That makes this checker pattern again. I'm going to bring this one down here. Same thing, starting with the left side. So, left, uh, L, two layers in. F inverted, L, F, U, 2L, U inverted, and L inverted, two layers in. Now I have two remaining checkered pieces left. And in this case, I can solve it without using a certain algorithm that I use for parity errors. So, this one doesn't matter again, just start anywhere. I'm going to start with the right side. Like that. And that should get you one with half a checkered pattern and another with half solid. Like that. And from here, if I rotate this around, if I bring this down here, then just do it one more time, it should work. Starting with the right side again. R twice inverted, R two layers in inverted, F, R inverted, F inverted, U inverted, 2R, U, R two layers in. And that solves all of them. Okay, so this one's just put in the wrong way. Take it out and put it back in. And now, that just solves the middle band, so. And if you ever get the parity error, that's always in the other tutorials as well, and it should be in the description as well. That's how you saw the middle section.